All right, guys, welcome back. Um, now that we've added this FH class, um, it's it, there's no going back now. We got to finish the refactor um, because what we don't want to have happen is we have this lib helpers, we have form help helpers here, and then we have other same functions running in our core form helper thing. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to our form helpers and um, we're just going to search everywhere since we've already copied all of these over um, to our form helpers class. We're going to search everywhere um, that's using these classes. So I'm just going to do shift command F here in Atom and I'm going to search for input block. And we're going to find all instances of that. I don't care about the instance inside form helpers, but I need to update all of these. And we can see that all of these are in the form for the partial. So we'll just go there. And we're just going to add fh uh, colon colon in front of all of these. So I'm going to copy and paste that. All right. Boom, there we go. I'm also just going to go ahead and do it right here for the submit tag just because I know it needs to be done. So FH submit tag. So let's go ahead and find that now. Submit tag. Okay, and that is only found in the form helpers and that, and it's already been updated there. So we're safe now to remove these two functions. That's, now make sure you do that in the form helpers and not in the fh.php <laughs> file. All right, so next what we're going to do is look for a submit block. I'm going to tell you now I know there's not one because I didn't use it. It's probably kind of a worthless function anyway, in my opinion, but we'll keep it. All right, yeah, it's only used in the fh class and in the helpers. So let's go ahead and remove that. And then stringify attributes that shouldn't be used anywhere. Uh, except for the other helper file. Yep, it's only using those two helpers, so let's remove everything in this form helpers file. So form helpers is refactored and done. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we, we want to move these helpers now um, to their own class. So this one's going to be a bigger, a bigger refactor. Um, so what we're going to do is go to core and new file and I'm just going to do h.php so all my helpers are going to be h unless it's a form helper then it will be fh so I'm going to go back here and even some of these could probably go in that form helpers file I'm just going to copy all these for now and we're going to open up php tags and then we're going to say class h and then paste these in here. And then these are also all going to be public static functions. So you can just add public and static before each of these. And this is more of an object oriented approach uh, to this. And I should have done this from the beginning. It's been bothering me. so. Let's just do it. All right, there we go. We have all public static functions now. And so um, we can go back to the helpers. I know we're not using the dump and die anywhere. Otherwise, it'd be killing the application. So we'll get rid of that one from the helpers file. The next one I want to look at is this sanitize deal. And this is going to be kind of a two-part deal. So let's just search the entire app by doing Command-Shift-F and we're going to search for the word sanitize. Okay, so don't worry about the helpers file here. Um, inside the core, we want to make sure that only... So there is another line here that's going to need updated. So here in posted values, um, right here is calling the sanitize function from the helper file. So here all we need to do is, remember this is in the same file, so it's self colon colon. Okay, so that should take care of that one. All right, good. And then we're looking at the uh, input.php. This one's a little bit 
funky because we have a duplicate function here so let's go ahead and fix that so this is actually in our core input file we don't want to use all these we don't have duplicate functions anywhere so let's just get rid of that out of this input and then we just need to update this instead of self this is just going to be h okay h dot sanitize all right let's go back to our list here uh, we use it in the model so let's open that up and so right there in the assign function just h colon colon let's go back and then we use it in the validate so the validate is actually looking at that old input one that we just deleted oops so let's go ahead and change that from input to h so that is a sanitize function. Uh, I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. So we can go to the helpers now. And we can completely remove that function. And we're just going to do this for each function, guys. Um, I think I'm going to go to posted values next because that one's going to be a little easier. Okay. So let's go here. Posted values. So we just need to do h colon colon. I think that's going to be the only change we actually need to make. Yep. So let's remove that now from the helpers file. And then current page is a little bit of a bigger one. Let's jump to get object properties. That's only going to be used in a few places, helpers, core, and then the model here. So this is actually going to be H right here, H. Okay, so we can get rid of that now. Okay, the next thing we want to do is let's do current page. So let's search everywhere with that. In the helpers, let's see. Not worried about any of those. The main menu, we are worried about. So we're going to do H, current page. Uh, those are just variables called current page. Yep, that wasn't too bad. So go back to helpers, we can get rid of current page now. And the last one we're going to have to do is current user. Now current user is a little bit weird. We don't actually need this in our helpers file because we already have, this is already a static function inside users. So everywhere, so what we're actually going to do is make this a little easier to use because I'm going to show you something. Let's just delete this thing and it's going to totally break our app, which is fine. Um, so I got a lot of stuff open. Let me just close some stuff. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our users model and I'm going to show you a mistake that I made there. So if you go to models and users, we have this current logged in user as a property and then we called the uh, method the same exact thing. So that's probably a bad idea to begin with. So we're going to change the method we're going to, to current user and then we're going to leave the property uh, as it is. Okay, so we're just changing this to current user. So now what we need to do is search our app for everywhere that's using current user. And so the contacts controller uses it quite a bit. So let's jump in there. So this one, this isn't going to be our, uh, this is going to be users, colon, colon, current user. Also here. So users, colon, colon. So we're just looking for all of these. Users, colon, colon, users, colon, colon. All right, um, let's look back. So that takes care of the contacts model, or the contacts controller. So the register controller has a few uses of this. So let's do users, users. OK, 
Okay, save that. Let's jump back, double check ourselves here. Um, we have inside the uh, view, main menu view here, we used it there. So we'll do users. Users. Um, and then in the router, users. Okay, let's see. The only other place it exists here, we don't really want it in this helper file. So we're going to delete it from the H file. And then we're, we've already deleted it from there. So the other thing that we need to do, let's just refresh, mess around with our app and see if everything appears to be working. If you got errors, guys, uh, just do this find uh, find all and make sure you've got them all and make sure you've um, done it correctly. So it all looks like it's working right now from my end, which means we've done a good job with the refactor. Uh, so yeah, that's I think we're in good shape. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is in this refactor is we don't need this whole folder here. So I'm actually just going to delete this lib folder here because there's nothing else in here besides these helpers. So delete that. We're simplifying the app quite a bit. Now if you refresh the page it's going to be broken which is fine and that's because on the index.php uh, file it actually um, Let's see, right here, we're requiring that. So if we remove that line, everything's back to working. So yeah, it's kind of a big, scary refactor. I mean, it's not a big one, but you can see we touched quite a few files here um, doing this. But we cleaned up, and now we have more of an object-oriented approach that we can now take this FH uh, class and this H class, and actually we can just use this core thing anywhere, and we know it's all going to work together, so it's decoupled, and it's not requiring something outside of this core folder, um, some helper functions that exist inside this app. So if we would copy this core fo uh, folder into another project, it would work um, as it is uh, without having to remember to copy over all those helper functions. So now we just need to get used to using the FH um, method and the H uh, so when you use forms when you use forms you'll use FH and then you use one of these helpers and then uh, any other helpers are just going to go in this H class unless it's something that we could collect into a different file that makes sense um, the only other thing I would say is like honestly these two functions here um, these two functions here could probably also go, they kind of fit better with the func with the form helpers. So just for the sake of, since we're doing the refactor anyway, it's going to bother me if we don't do it. So let's just go ahead here and we'll paste those. So now the only thing we need to do is actually, again, search for sanitize. Sorry guys, I know this is not the funnest thing to do. Uh, so we go back to here and we just need to add FH to these. And actually we can just search, we can actually now, since we've already done the refactor, we can just search for H.sanitize. So that has the F on it. So the model and then uh, looked like there was only yeah, the validate. Uh, Alright, so that looks like it. So that should be fine. And so now we need to look for um, posted values. I think that was only in one file anyway. Yeah 
it's right here. So now I feel better about that refactor. We got form stuff in the uh, form helpers, and we have other random helpers like the dump and dive, more for debugging purposes, getting our current page, and the get the object properties. These are more generic helpers, so they're in the H file. So that's it, guys. Um, that's that refactor. I'm going to have this source code available, so if you've completely broke it and you've tried your best to debug it, um, you can go ahead and grab the code from Bitbucket. I'm going to have it, a link to, in the description. But seriously, guys, um, this is something you have to, a skill you're going to have to learn anyway. So since you're going to get the source code anyway, like you might as well just keep trying to fix it, even if you break it worse. Um, just keep reading the errors and everything like that, and go for it, man. This You guys are going to have to refactor stuff in the real world, so might as well uh, start with this small app that we haven't built a ton of pages on yet. All right, guys, well, I hope this adds value. Um, to your framework now that you have a little bit of uh, cross-site uh, request forgery protection and we've also taken more of an object-oriented approach to our helper files. Alright guys, well I hope this has been fun and uh, I may do more videos in the future on this series um, but I'm really looking forward to, to doing our live chats coming soon. Talk to you guys later.